Hello everyone, it's Michelle from Michelle's Ink It Stamp It .blogspot.com. I'm an independent consultant from close to my heart and my website is michellepryor.ctmh.com. Here are the cards that the ladies in our group in our card swap group uh, made. We meet once a month and it's lots of fun. There are ten of us, um, but two of us live out of town so they mail them in. This month our theme was fall or thanks. Here's Judy's card. I love this paper pack and the little turkey inside too that she cut from the Cricut. Cute little bling on here. This is Jody's card. She embossed the leaves that she cut out and I'm not sure how she made the this back piece but it's really cute, kind of different. Looks like it might be the top to a box that you uh, just left opened. And then the stamp set, she watercolored in that. And on the inside it says, uh, just a note. Baker's twine and some bling on the sides, a little button. Here's the card that Gail made. On this one she stamped the pumpkins and leaves and acorns and then cut them out. And she adhered the little leaf down with a brad. And there's the inside. Deb, one of my sister-in-laws, made this using a picture that she took on her trip back east to see the fall leaves. She used strips of paper around the outside and on some she embossed them. And this little tag piece is cut from the art philosophy cartridge. And then on the inside she used a real leaf. She stamped on that. Very clever, I think. Lonnie, my other sister-in-law, made this one. She's also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. The background is stamped in, uh, is stamped on, and then the leaves and that little acorn are um, cut with die cuts. Kathy, our cousin, made this card. She cut the leaves from the Art Philosophy cartridge and the fall stamp is from the uh, uh, fall, from the last month's uh, stamp of the month. Lori used this leaf paper for the base. It's kind of cool. You can tell the all the different cutouts on it. And then um, she used a die cut for this leaf on the top, and you can see the sparkles on it. Then this is also a close to my heart stamp on the inside. Janine made this and she used a Cricut cut to cut the turkey on the top and then she ran it through the uh, Xyron so it glued the whole top of it and then she glittered over the top of that. This background is a die cut and then she embossed the little pumpkins on here. So let's see if I can get a good see all the sparklies on it. Very nice. And then inside, so thankful for you. Here's the card that I made. It's all with Close to My Heart products. This is cut from the Artiste cartridge. So is this. This is the brown and tan sparkles. Uh, the ribbon is the uh, seam binding ribbon that I sponged in black. I think I did them in three different colors. I sponged some in black, some in twilight, and some in sunset. A uh, little baker's twine in sunset and uh, the give thanks. This is a background stamp and then I stamped the leaves on a colonial white card. And then on the inside. You could read the story on my blog. I've got more on that one. And then Erin, bless her heart, she made everybody this box, or she made everybody a box. I got the one that has the horses on the front. <laughs> um, so the, the leaves, all the leaves are cut with a spell binder, she said. The acorn is glued on and it is a store-bought little uh, decorative acorn. 
And then um, I don't remember what she said the tag was made out of. Or whether well, it was cut, it was a die cut though. And then inside she filled them with little chocolates that she stamped with a little strip of paper and glued on there. So nice job, Erin. That was fun. A little sweet treat. <laughs> So thanks for stopping by everyone and see you soon.